last month, so you know, I, was, I was afraid I was going to miss this month, but uh, then we saw each other two weeks ago, and then before that, I think we were in December, then November. So when you have projects like this, you, you spend a lot of time with the planners and the folks who really are going to make this happen, and we have an amazing county staff that's been intimately involved with this. Um, Thomas Shotney, who's the head of the department, is usually be here, but he's got another meeting he's at on transportation. So we have an amazing group of people who are working very hard to build something that we're going to see in about six or seven years. So we we know these are long lead times on all the projects that we do, and, and we recognize that it's sometimes difficult, even frustrating, to, to think that, okay, we're looking at this stuff, but is it ever really going to come? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, and the question is, how is it going to come? And, and Jeff and Ella is going to talk to you about the timing and how this is fitting together and, and even the funding, the other things that are going to all make this happen. Um, I'm here by myself tonight, which is unusual. Uh, Jeff McKay, the supervisor for the lead district, could not be here. He's on in Richmond on county business, so otherwise he would be up here standing with me and the two of us would be talking about what we is our truly our pride and joy and, and a major focus of our energies and activities, which is getting Richmond Highway brought into the 21st century. And that is a combination of things. One is getting only Metro, which is what our, our true commitment is, and you know, we're hoping to see that in 2040 or so, uh, which would have a couple of stops. But, but the key method for us and the key opportunity for us to get Metro here is to get bus rapid transit. It works very similarly, and again, the folks here are gonna tell you a lot more about that than, than, I, than I will spend time doing now, but it works very similarly, and the bottom line is it is our path to Metro, and just as importantly, maybe more importantly, it is our path to revitalizing the highway. We have a billion dollars, a billion dollars that we've secured roughly, and there's more coming, to build what is not only the bus rapid transit, but also the expansion of, of the highway that's coming between um, what they call Napa Road, which is about where the Costco is, and where um, uh, Jeff Todd Way is. And then we've already had about $170 million spent for that section that went from essentially the Jeff Todd Way down south to Telegraph Road. In other words, the Fort Belvoir section, as we call it. So if you think about that, a billion dollars of commitment, and this is state money, obviously county money, a huge amount of county money and county resources, but also federal money as well. So, that billion dollars is transforming Richmond Highway. It's transforming our backyard to give us what I know, at least I have wanted, and I know most of you that I hear from regularly want, which is a 21st century highway that's modern. You can tra traverse it up and down fairly quickly, and you can not only have cars and bikes and walkers, but you also have a bus route, a transit system that works a lot like Metro. So we are deeply appreciative of all the work that's gone into this. Just a couple more points and then I'll turn the show back over to these guys. Um, I want to introduce, um, really actually a couple people. And first and foremost, I want to introduce uh, Shirley uh, Kodalov. Shirley, I know you're, Shirley, thank you. Shirley Kodalov is, is on my staff and she handles transportation issues for us and works with all of these folks. Um, and then on Jeff McKay's staff, Joan is here. And Joan, I'm sorry, I forgot your last name. But. Mark. Joan, thank you very much. Um, so she's here, they're both gonna be here the whole time and I'll be happy to, to listen. If you have any particular issues, you're welcome to see them. I will not be able to stay the whole time. I'm gonna have to leave towards the end because I have another meeting, but I wanted to make sure particularly those folks were introduced. My three takeaways to you are on tonight, and three important things that I hope you will contribute to tonight, is first and foremost, the stations. You've seen the stations up there, the layouts, and, and yet get your input, get your thoughts, what should be in them, what should be out of them, but basically share what you feel, think, you know, hope that we will consider. The second thing is we have um, kind of the limits of the development, I just forgot the name of the word again, but limits of, li limits, limits of, disturbance. disturbance, I knew that was, <laughs> limits of disturbance, and those are the maximum limits that you would encounter. So if you have a property along Richmond Highway, you're saying, oh my gosh, what's this gonna do to my property? They have down there the maximum limit of disturbance lines that are there. That doesn't mean your property will be affected, it just means that the only ones that they would expect to be affected would be those within the limits of disturbance. So if you're outside of that, you should be in good shape. If you're inside of that, 
um, just stay tuned and they'll be working with and talk with you. And, and over time, as they refine the plans, they'll be able to give you a better idea. I'm sure they're going to talk a lot more about that as well in just a few minutes. The last thing, and maybe the most important thing, that Jeff and I need you to do, because this is truly how our communities work, is that we need you to give us your comments. We need you to share your thinking. Good news, bad news, whatever news, we need you to share with us what you like, what you don't like, you know, what you think we should do or not do. Those are all critical elements of what we're all wanting to get out of tonight's meeting. There are a couple different ways you can do that. Not only there's a comment board back there, but also you can put your name and information on there and as information and as things happen, they can email them out to you so you are much more attuned to what's going on and you can be familiar with, with what's happening on the highway and, and share your, your thoughts and concerns. The other thing is that uh, my office, we have a newsletter that we put out regularly. In fact, it comes out, in fact, there was one that was just sent out today about the board meeting, the board of supervisor meeting yesterday. But if you have not done so, please just send us your email or go to the website and look up um, our, our website. But our, our, if you want to just send us an email, it's mtvernon, M-T-V-E-R-N-O-N, M-T-V-E-R-N-O-N, at fairfaxcounty.gov fairfaxcounty.gov, and if you send us an email, we'll put you on our email list, and you will get regular updates about whatever's happening in our community, including things about BRT and the highway expansion, uh, the board meeting yesterday, um, different things that are happening to uh, our different community groups. We have our big Mount Vernon um, town meeting next Saturday, a week from this Saturday, on Super Bowl Saturday. Last thing I'll mention is that we would love to have you here. For those of you who haven't been to the Mount Vernon Town Meeting, it's the 32nd annual one. We've been doing this a long time. This cafeteria, if you can imagine this cafeteria, uh, a week and a half from now, it will be filled with, with uh, county and not-for-profits and other um, vendors and other uh, active groups who want to share and talk with you about what they do. This, literally, this place will be filled with them. Uh, from 7.45 a.m. in the morning until 9.30, you're welcome to tour around and meet and talk with those folks. At 9.30, we start the formal program where we will, you'll have a chance to meet with a lot of elected officials. We're having a special um, recognition for our federal employees and contractors uh, at the Mount Vernon Town Meeting. We think they need our thanks and praise and, frankly, appreciation for their service. We don't want them to feel like, you know, we don't care because we absolutely MVD, our district, we do care. So please come to town meeting. We'd love to see you here. Oh, the doors open at 7.45. The actual program starts at 9.30, runs till about noon. Uh, I'll do what is, has been the annual, in this case now, fly through, where I literally will fly through on a, on, a, on a kind of virtual tour of the Mount Vernon area, which shows all the different changes that have occurred over the last year. So we'd love to have you come. Uh, regardless, glad you're here tonight. Please make sure we connect with you and you share your thoughts with us. So again, my pleasure to, to represent you and, and thank you very much again.